But I am glad to see that there is some rivalry between the English, the French, and the Spanish now. Like previously, when they were working together, it was disgusting. And in fact, England's having a couple of rebel problems in the old colonies. This would be a great opportunity for them to launch a colonial war. While England's armies are busy in North Africa, just prod uh, Amordica, nice name, uh, to, you know, start a little bit of uh, a Barney with... Oh, no, it's only in England. Okay, it's not a colony, never mind, you can't. Because one of my absolute favourite things to do is if you go to one of your colonial nations, you have down here, start warring colony. One of the bestest things to do with colonial nations is just to start Barneys between colonial nations. And as long as you pay massive subsidies to your own colonial nation so they can raise more troops than they otherwise would be able to, then you can just have your colonies stealing land. And this does not involve the colonial master. They can intervene, in which case you then intervene, in which case it then escalates. But at, like, low key, you can just have your colonies just slowly but surely and quietly expanding just through using the start colonial wars. It's great. And yes, I, I noticed that. We're, we're, we're going to have to talk about the names of these places. We've got Amordica, which is a great name. We've got the avocados from Mexico. Okay. We've got the Carabina Mon, I guess. And then Mordecorp Oil, <laughs> which is Texas? Louisiana? Guessing that's the Louisiana colony. No, it's Colombia. Oh, Venezuela. Right. All right, let me just go and talk to Fewer. He's handling this wrong. Three. Hey, Fewer. <laughs> oh. Just, just give it a minute or two to catch up, then boost the the, uh, the speed again. Okay. That's why it keeps on lagging out, because you're not like, oh, giving him time to catch up. Yeah. The hell is he at? Sorry. Okay. Hey, Mordred. Is this Hello. a bad time? Nope, all good. This, this is this is. I, I saw there was a player war. Uh, this is Mamluks. Yes, uh, things happened. So this was all very unexpected. I thought Tunis and I were good. I thought Ottomans and I were good, but apparently not. Well, the Ottomans are always going to want to come after you as soon as any sparkle of weakness was shown, because he basically stopped them expanding south. Yeah. Tunis was a surprise, though. I was expecting the North African alliance to hold strong. And actually, the fact that Tunis broke that is going to cause real problems, because the Ottomans are going to come after you aggressively now. But yeah, I still have Alexandria, but likely for much longer. So I'm kind of shifting focus a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm, my center of focus is going to kind of shift towards the Arabian Peninsula now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be a little bit less trade-focused. As you can see, I've caught up in Miltech now. Mm -hmm. Mostly. Yeah, that's good. I think good. the highest Miltech is 13. Yes. And I'm 12 now. So now I'm, I'm, I am I'm plan to spend the session just kind of sitting here building up Miltech and building buildings, but then, you know, people attacked and things <laughs> happened. And now the Delta's gone, and Alexandria is like my last gasp. Like, I've got an expensive missionary. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I would be making like 12, 13 ducats a month still. Yeah, I mean, you're still wealthy. You still have... I'm still wealthy. Some uh, control over the trade node. <laughs> Certainly not as strong as it used to be. But Alexandria is has kind of been taken from. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm just going to have to reassess. And That's maybe make some plans for vengeance against Tunis. Uh, some, something will happen, yes. Uh, uh, just, just know, chat, that Mamluks will... Rise again. Yeah, I mean, I saw that war against the Ottomans coming for so long, and I was a little disappointed you didn't have more forts in the north, because it was going to happen. Well, I was busy doing shenanigans in Africa, and I kind of forgot. I thought Ottomans and I were good. That was, that was my mistake. Yeah. Uh, make that mistake again. Yeah, and I think Tunis only declared because they saw that you were losing to the Ottomans, but now, like, Tunis's yep. true colors are shown. You can probably use that against them. Mm hmm. The fact that they're willing to work with Europeans. Well, not to, just that. They're willing to fellow. backstab people and allow Ottomans access to the whole of Africa. Yep. So, yeah. I'm going to go back to rebuilding. Mm -hmm. uh, have fun, chat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
So that was the uh, Mamluks showing that they were surprised by the war with the Ottomans. Uh, I'm not. I was fully expecting that war with the Ottomans. Player war is over. Yeah, England just white pieced out. They had nothing. As soon as they lost uh, that many troops against the Spanish and the French, they didn't really have a hope in hell of holding on to this. They were just like, okay, we'll board our ships and leave. Like, that's one of the great things about Britain. You can just do that. It's like, I can't win this. I'm out. Bye. You can't come back at me. You can't get vengeance. Let's just white peace and forget this ever happened. And if they fail to do that, then just blockade the living daylight out of them until they peace you out. Mamluk Russia alliance. Uh, Ottomans are allied to Russia. So Russia wouldn't. And Russia needs the Ottoman alliance because they they have neighbours who have shown to be quite aggressive. Like Russia is probably enjoying the fact that this has been such a quiet session for them. Like they've not had anything against Sweden. They've not had anything against Oirat. And then they've maintained their alliance with the Ottomans. Mamluk Oirat alliance. That's more likely. I think the the biggest hope is further work or closer working together between Mamluks and Bahmanis. Which is going to be bad for basically everyone else in this region in particular and probably this region. Uh, because the Mamluks can bring a lot of ships to any conflict. They have a huge coastline. Reduced, sure, but they, they still have a lot of naval potential. Although they can't build sewers anymore, which is always going to be a problem. Because now if they do have fleets in the Mediterranean, they have to go all the way around Africa. And if they have fleets in the Red Sea, they have to go all the way around Africa to get to the Mediterranean. Um, so losing um, Shakira is going to be a problem for them. And then the other thing is the Mamluks are still wealthy. They still have the Mamluk government, which gives them a lot of power. An awful lot of economic power, even if it's not trade-related. England may start raiding the French and the Spanish now. Uh, yeah. Almost certainly they will. In fact, let's go and take a look at relations. Oh, England may actually have demanded money. Uh, minus 71, minus 200. Spain and England are actually rivals. So yes, new coasts for enterprising, entrepreneurial young people. Republican tradition zero. See, this is one of the things I don't like about pirate republics, is they don't leave, they, they, they don't disintegrate. Stability cost minus, oh, plus one, 200. That's the only downside. I mean, that's, that's a pretty big downside. Stability is going to be ludicrously expensive, but there should be, like, unrest. In fact, isn't there usually unrest associated to low Republican tradition? For regular republics. Pretty sure that's true. And also, you can't re-elect, I don't think, if you have zero tradition. At least I hope it doesn't let you go from zero to zero. Which it might, because that's the way that other values work for, like, political power and stuff. I might have a word with Grugi if that's possible, actually, because that's horribly exploitable. Since you're Anglican, isn't stability just a church power click? Oh, you're not wrong. Yeah, gain stability from the uh, Supreme Governor. Okay, that's a nice combo. But the fact that you can re-elect is silly, and he has clearly been re-electing. Uh, they have clearly been re-electing, re sorry Val. I mean, Mamluk or Irak Bahmanis block would be a big thing to stop. True. Yeah, like, if those three work together, then sure. Um, but I don't think the Mamluks and Oirat have anything in particularly in common. Well, I guess a potential mutual hatred for the Ottomans. But Oirat, I think, is more concerned with Russia, because Russia is going to be expanding into Siberia, because Russia is now Russia, and has the Siberian frontier ability. And also, Oirat is going to be far more interested in China right now. Oirat's done their thing, they tried to push east as much as they could, and now they're like, actually, you know what? China. Japan's in the area, Aitai's in the area, uh, uh, Philippines are in the area, Malacca's in the area. There, there, there are now more potential conflicts for Chinese turf. And there it is! The most wondrous country in the entire game. We have the Netherlands. The Dutch have been formed. I was Your just favorite saying nation that. is around. <laughs> It took some doing because I I had to murder Trier. Uh, 
because uh, we needed an elector ship, so I wouldn't just bail. Also, I have a civil war going, so that's a thing. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, my um, I lost my uh, my um, republic, and my, my the guy that took over, um, I he has zero admin. Oof. <laughs> so it's just been it's just been ticking up the whole time. So, but I should soon get the um the Dutch Republic, which will be. But he is very good at military, Maurits. Yes, he is. Is so. he an event ruler? No, he's just uh, he's just the guy that he was just the dictator that took over. Gotcha. Yeah. So how did you lose that... the republic? Just let the republican tradition go. So to so what happened was is um I had about six guys that got elected in a row that were in their seven. Mm -hmm. And so they just kept dying in office of old age. So my Republican tradition, um, and they would, and they, and then I would get three candidates, only one of which would be like not have two zero. So it was, it was a thing of whether or not I want to be crippled by tech or lose my uh, Republican. So. Right, and now that you're in the, the Netherlands, I think you get another opportunity to get it back anyway. Yes, I uh, I will get um the opportunity. To, I will get the event that um that gives me the confession mm -hmm. of the low countries. So, so you're yeah. going to get the Dutch government, or you're going to go Republic. I'm getting the Dutch Republic. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Um, yeah, it's just because it's really good. <laughs> it used all... to be better. I remember it being like ludicrously strong. It's certainly been toned back because I don't think you have as much control over the events anymore. Yeah, it's, it just it only matters when like I get elections is when I get to pick status or things. There's a couple of events like whether or not I want a national. Oh, hey, Olm's helping out. My... How nice. Yeah, you might want to go and help <laughs> them. Paying me back for Switzerland. Yes, that was stopping you forming the Netherlands for a while because you're at war. No, it... that specifically wasn't because I still had to kill Trier. Right. Yeah. OK, fair enough. But yeah, it was I, I. I had to fight the Swiss so many times, and he just. Uh, what happened? So what happened was, the got the retreat bug, and right. got stack wiped. Right. So at the start of the war, I butchered all of the Swiss armies and whatnot, and then I went back to my land because you know it was just like eh, whatever. Um, cause he didn't really need me. But then I look down and he's half occupied again and I had to <laughs> meander through. And every time I walked through Saxony, I got jumped by Saxony Saxon rebels and it was just like, oh god damn it. <laughs> yeah, Ulm sent oh, he's, he's occupied again. <laughs> oh, come right on, Ulm. <laughs> this is this is I, a recurring theme, sorry. Chat is loving I, this. See, see, the iron you know you want to remember the the ultimate irony about me helping him. Uh, remember who he kept angering and getting beaten in by in the last game? Yeah, it was me. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Olm, how do you keep doing this? I don't know. I just don't know. Also, my income just jumped by like six ducats just by changing to the Netherlands. So. Yeah, because you get all the uh, trade bonuses. Like Friesland yeah. have like build up development stuff you get cheaper construction and things like that but the netherlands is just like trade yeah i i was i i had before the session started with i had zero centers of trade in the english channel and i had as much uh trade power as england really yeah and then he started doing stuff oh hey i succession war between austria and brava interesting personal union on death yeah, Habsburg's gonna Habsburg, and Bohemia just disappeared. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, we allied to stop the coalition that I was gonna get for killing Tree. Mm -hmm. so that's that's finally happened. There we go, and the Dutch Republic, Huzzah. and the end of the Civil War. <laughs> oh wow, that was quick. Yeah, I remember uh, having to wait I... ages for the Dutch Republic before. Yep. It it triggers within the first couple of years, but yeah. Think all right. So Netherlands is here, and we are a republic again. All is right in the world. And you got your heavy ship combat ability plus ten number yep. of states. Absolutely. Now on. now here's the point where I lock the door on the rest of Europe and just start building a fleet. Yep. <laughs> Navy with a state. Year round. So yeah. 
Holm. <laughs> Holm! Stop it! Um, so yeah, one thing which uh, the Netherlands is bringing up there is they delayed forming the Netherlands until they took Trier so that they could become an elector. And the electors in uh, the HRE are actually quite interesting. Player, player, player. Okay, so it's just Saxony, Cologne, and Palatinate who are not. But we have a, an elector Prussia, an elector Netherlands, and an elector Papal States, which is kind of cool. A good combination. I guess this is also why they wanted the white piece in the League War so that the Papal States could remain in the HRE uh, because they're Catholic and actually have the Pope as an elector. Play war again. Oh, oh yes. France, Papal States, Portugal, and Spain. So who is this one about? This is war against the Papal States. So the Papal States... The Papal Conquest of Naples. The Pope's going for it. So Spain have actually for uh, actually um, annexed Naples. And the Pope's probably not very happy about this. So it's the Papal States versus Spain and France and Portugal. Wait, is Poland an elector now as well? Poland is I, an elector now as well. Interesting. I have poured back kind of nice, haven't I? Uh, yeah, you have actually. Yep, just wanted to pop in to show you that I was a lector. Uh -huh. it's, so I, it's so I can form Commonwealth now uh, and stay in the HRE. You can form the Commonwealth? I didn't think you could. I can I can force it. I thought you needed to take some land from I'd like Russia. to point out, we now have three elected I electors. Do. Yeah, I was just talking about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hop back. Okay. Wait, so how does that work? He doesn't have Danzig, he doesn't have Marienburg. And he doesn't reign in Lithuania. And he needs, yeah, Minsk and Vilno. And Kiev. Wait, how do you lose Kiev? Oops. Unless that's... Oh no, he just took Kiev. I don't think he can form the Commonwealth. 